Sailing far off the crossroads of the workaday world, it's the 440-foot motor vessel Free Winds, the Church of Scientology's senior most religious retreat. In 2008, in celebration of the ship's 20th maiden voyage anniversary, and to meet the need in the wake of worldwide expansion, the ship was completely refit from stem to stern. Fully redesigned and technologically state-of-the-art, every inch redefines ideal, providing a distraction-free environment for ministering the highest level of spiritual counseling available in the Scientology religion. While to guarantee smooth passage, every detail has been addressed in anticipation of the parishioner's every need. And it all begins with the shipboard dining and event facilities. First, there's the new Heritage Restaurant. It's long stood in tribute to the church's fraternal order, the Sea Organization, but it's never looked like this. All in commemoration of every ship in the original flotilla, from the Excalibur to the Apollo, and dedicated to the uncompromising service and commitment that is the Sea Org. Then, forward on the promenade deck, it's the Five Star Horizon. Beyond its already legendary impeccable service, the Horizon offers unparalleled panoramic views of the Caribbean seas. While on the aft deck, it's what's now become the traditional passenger place to be, the new Sky Lounge. This is where parishioners gather, whether on course breaks, between sessions, or after shipboard events. It's an atmosphere that's as uniquely part of the free winds experience as pristine Caribbean waters and the warmth of the equatorial sun. Above it all is the new Sun Deck topside, site of another onboard tradition, post-event banquets and celebrations. It's also where the Free Winds host special events and seminars year-round for international Scientology conventioneers. The Free Winds Cinema is first and foremost the venue for L. Ron Hubbard technical films for those studying aboard. But beyond that, it's also where parishioners converge for onboard convention seminars and briefings. And then there's the Starlight, the site of weekly Free Winds graduations for those attaining the highest levels of the bridge. It's also here top Scientologists convene each year for the Maiden Voyage Anniversary Celebration and OT Summit. When it comes to accommodations, there are more than 100 passenger cabins from prom deck to sea deck, each meticulously designed to make for a stay that's ideal in every way. Nothing is more important than a parishioner's journey to the uppermost reaches of the Scientology Bridge. So the crew of the Free Winds dedicate themselves to ensuring the voyage is without distraction. As for the actual passage to those higher states, that's what Free Winds technical delivery is all about. It's a Hubbard Guidance Center fully representative of the gateway to the top of the bridge. And each of the onboard counseling rooms is the embodiment of technical perfection, down to the last detail. While as for training, it's the course rooms on the main deck and A deck, configured to transport hundreds at a time ever closer to total spiritual freedom. And since this ship is the threshold to the upper levels of Scientology, it's all specifically geared for those on the ascent to the highest states. In all, the Free Wind stands at the forefront of a growing worldwide movement towards spiritual advancement, transporting Scientologists to new realms of freedom every day. And that's the Church of Scientology's advanced religious retreat, the Free Wind.